Hi, and welcome to another tutorial on Plant Factory and Trains. Uh, it's a bit of an extension to the first look video where I found a few other techniques that might come in handy that I'll explain. Uh, one is the node structure and how to get the tree looking a bit more full and the leaves spaced out a little bit better. And also, uh, the other one is the LODs and uh, how to set that up within Plant Factory so that it's not a, uh, hopefully not as manual effort um, manipulating it once the export happens. So the first, uh, the first thing to talk about is the procedural node structure I've set up here. Now what I've done is I've got a primary branch node which is off the trunk and I've spaced those branches correctly. Well, the way I think they should be spaced anyway for this particular tree. And I've then added a second branch node off these branches and I'll enable that geometry so you can see what it looks like. Um, you can see they're all spaced uh, along the branches there. So it's kind of hard to see, but uh, they are definitely spaced all the way along each of those uh, first branch node and from there I've got a child which is the leaf cards that come off all of those branches so it gives it that even spacing I guess each of those branch or those leaves are go going to try and go up those individual branches themselves and uh, then once you've got that hierarchy you can actually use either the leaf nodes or sorry the the tab on the second branches where the leaf node is connected to you can use that to reduce the leaves or you can uh, click on the um, first branch node and find the tab that the second branch node child is attached to and then you can actually reduce or increase that and that will actually in turn change the child of its um, input and then uh, you only have to manipulate it once. So that's, uh, that's kind of a handy way to work. It also gives some fairly good results, uh, but you'll, you'll need to play around with it to see what works for you and what looks good. Um, this spacing for these leaves, that is actually uh, in the leaf node itself. Uh, and I went through this in the first video, but you can offset each of these so that they're not exactly lined up with each of the, br the branch it's attached to. You can offset them and I've done that here. Um, so that's, that's how you can get them spread, it, spread out a little bit more. Uh, I think it gives good result and it's an easy way to work. So I'll put this um, plant factory file up on the wiki and you guys can get access to it and manipulate it however you wish. Uh, the other way, of, uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is the LOD levels. Um, let me just change this a little bit so happy with the tree. Yeah, that looks a bit better. All right. So the next thing is the LOD levels. And right now I've got this configured to have three LOD levels. Usually by default there's five. You can find this under the meshing tab, the global meshing tab. And it would start off with four LOD levels and the simplification boost is one. Now let me explain the simplification boost first. Each node under its uh, meshing tab will have this boost uh, value. And what it does is, uh, let me turn off the geometry so we can see things a little bit better. What it does is if we turn on the wireframe, you can see how these branch nodes here, the uh, branches are made up of, of geometry. And I've got that set all the way down to negative five. If it, were, it usually starts off at about zero. So if we put that back to where it was, you can see what polygons it's made up of. And that's 100,000 polygons for the first LOD and that's far too many polygons. So um, you will see as we drop LODs and let's go to like the third one, you can see the polygons reducing and uh, Plant Factory does quite a good job at that, but we can't start off at 100,000 polygons on LOD zero. So that's where you can select each node and you can manually manipulate the boost value itself. Uh, and then 
we'll leave it at zero for a second. And then what you can do when you go to setup, uh, sorry, meshing, the simplification boost, it goes down by one value with each LOD because that's what we've set it up to. But if we bump that to two, then you'll find it'll go down to two uh, each value. So you can see there, uh, 2,373 was what the lowest LOD used to be because we were going down one each time, but now we're going down two, four. So it's equal to the lowest LOD it was previously when that was one. So give that a little boost, see what happens. You can take it up higher to see what happens as well to get the, the value down. And But you're trading the look of the tree at certain levels. So make sure that it looks how you think it should look depending on how far away from the camera it is. Um, you'll need to test that out. And uh, once we go back to LOD zero, uh, I will bump my LODs down to two. So I've got three XBX files being exported. I'll keep this for simplification boost on two. And then I will go back to my node here and instead of having 100,000 polys on the first LOD, I don't really mind this looking a little bit square. Um, unless you're right up close, you're not gonna be able to tell anyway. Uh, and so that reduces it right down to 2,970 polys, which is a lot, lot better on for performance. So that is, uh, that is how you set up your LOD structure. Uh, I'll sh I just wanted to touch on another thing where you can uh, make individual nodes show at certain LOD levels and disappear at others. You can see this leaf node here, which is my branch cards. They uh, don't show up at LOD level two, they disappear. And that is because under uh, transformations, under LOD, LOD management, I've got max LOD and I've got it showing uh, up to LOD one. So again, if I change that to two, they will show because this is LOD two, but I've set that to one. And so on the first LOD they'll show, and then on the second LOD they'll show, but when you zoom out to this LOD, they disappear because at that distance, you probably won't care about seeing those branches. You probably won't even see those branches. And that just uh, saves on polygons. So you can set that structure up as well, uh, depending on what you need to show and what you need to hide at certain LOD levels. So I hope that's uh, been uh, some good information to help you get better looking trees and also set up your LODs in certain ways that um, will help you with performance as well in trains. Uh, as I find new techniques uh, in Plant Factory, I'll keep creating videos for you to watch and learn from. Uh, and as usual, uh, leave comments and information as you find out. Uh, new things as well and uh, jump on the discord chat under tree foliage uh, and uh, we've got the beta going for tree creation so jump into the beta if you're interested in creating trees thanks for watching